Hi there, this is Judy Vitale, and this is your weekly horoscopes at work forecast from readthestars.com, and it's for the week of June 12th through the 18th, 2017. Well, it's a comparatively quiet week, especially if you compare it to the one we just had. We will have Neptune going into its very long retrograde period, beginning on Friday, June the 16th at 7, 10 a.m. For those of you who feel the planet Neptune in the sign of Pisces, you may notice that some things that, some dreams or or some inspiration that has come to you over the last several months is sort of being worked over now. And just, you know, very slowly be open to the inspiration that you receive. Neptune is filled with inspiration. Neptune is also responsible for us getting involved in escaping reality in various ways. So make sure that you're also staying very focused on what you're supposed to be doing in order to pull your goals into focus and get them moving in the right direction. And finally, I might add that um, Neptune can be a little bit confusing. So sometimes, especially, you know, if you have um, one of the major factors in your ch in your chart in something like Pisces or Virgo or Gemini, or Sagittarius, you may be noticing lately, like, oh, you can't remember things. Don't worry about that. Unless you have something clinical, of course, I'm not a doctor, but most of the times when you're having a Neptune transit, that concrete kind of way of thinking is going to dissolve a little bit so that you can be more open to the higher and even more proficient parts of yourself. So think of it that way. So that's really the biggest thing happening this week. We also have Mercury making a trine to Jupiter and also an opposition to Saturn. And, um, you know, that's Mercury playing some games and also a square to Neptune. And we'll talk about that in the day today. And then we also have the Sun opposite Saturn. And that's taking place on Thursday. That's never very easy for business. So I wouldn't say, you know, like right off the bat, I would say try to avoid Thursday for doing anything that's crucial to your business. But the rest of the week looks pretty good. Let's go through it day by day now. On Monday, that Capricorn moon that we had over the weekend goes void, of course, at 2.45 p.m. in the afternoon and moves into the sign of Aquarius at 7.45 p.m. Eastern Time. During that time period, you are going to want to restrict your activities around starting new things, making purchases, scheduling meetings and anything where you need to have the plans go exactly as you wish them to go because they may have some unexpected factors thrown into them. So just remember that on Monday. Tuesday, that Aquarius moon will make us quite productive, especially if you need a little bit of creativity or inspiration. Um, Mercury is going to make an interaction with Jupiter at 11.05 a.m., trying to Jupiter, which will be very nice, make people think in an expensive way. Very, very good for brainstorming. And then also later that night, Mercury will make a square to Neptune. And this is really great for inspiration, but it's also a time when we could be deceived. So try to ensure that the things that you have in your mind are as concrete as they possibly can be for the time being. There's always that, that balance that needs to be taken into account when we have Neptune around. Wednesday, we have the moon in Aquarius. Can't complain about that. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, for the most part, are going to be about other people and taking care of the people around us, the collective. So that's really nice. Thursday, that Aquarius moon goes void, of course, at 1.10 a.m. And then we wake up on the East Coast here uh, to the moon in Pisces at 6.17 a.m. This brings everybody down a notch from thinking about the whole world into thinking about the wonder of the whole universe and the universe inside ourselves as well as the universe out there. So uh, that's that uh, you know, people will be more pensive and, but also extremely creative, extremely inspired. So uh, this is a really good energy for that. And then Friday, Neptune makes its retrograde uh, move. Its station will be at exactly 7, 10 a.m. on Friday. And there will be an occultation between the moon and Neptune, meaning that they're lined up so that they're not maybe conjunct in the sky exactly. Well, they are, but they're, they're, they are conjunct in the sky exactly, just not in the normal way. Also, they're not just like this at the same degree. They're at the same degree of what we call declination in astrology in terms of how high they are from the horizon. For those of you who are not astrologers, what this means is that the moon and Neptune will be especially strong. So this is an imaginative period. For those of you who are involved in anything creative, really try to take some time on Friday 
to sit down and think about how you can formulate your ideas or, or get them into a, a place where you can start to work with them. On Saturday, the Pisces moon goes void, of course, at around 7.30 in the morning. And then we have the moon in Aries at 1.55 p.m. I guess you can tell by my hand gestures that the moon in Aries is all about a lot of activity. So I, I'm looking at an active weekend leading up to Father's Day. Father's Day is very important. And, you know, often we don't think so much about our dads until we get into a situation where we need them. Um, so I salute all of you fathers. If I hadn't had the father I did, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I mean that in the best possible way. And um, I'm grateful for him. And I'm grateful to all the people who have, have, have given me the privilege of having their fatherly energy in my life, including some of my current teachers and those that I've had in the past as well. So that's my little bit of gratitude. I suggest that you try to stir some up for your fatherly figures also on Saturday, and to look at the fatherly energy in yourselves. You know, we have a Deep Dives podcast all about father energy. You may want to have a look at that. This is a really good time to look at that. And then on Sunday, we still have that moon in Aries. People will feel very active, but um, we'll also have the sun in a sextile to Uranus, so it could go a little bit overboard. You might say, no, let's go paddle boarding, kayaking, bike riding, and then play golf. You know, that's the kind of agenda that you might set up. Uh, probably not a good idea. Try to scale it back so that it's more manageable. So that is your week ahead. Um, here is my week ahead on June 18th, Sunday. I will be at Journeys of Life reading charts. The rest of the time, I'll be in yoga teacher training. I'm doing an intensive yoga teacher training at Inhale Pittsburgh, where I also will be presenting with Jana Hockenjoss, the, the studio's owner, a uh, workshop on June 25th here in Pittsburgh. And it is called Yoga and the Sun Signs. We'll be talking about how astrology and the body correlate and how we can move different parts of our body to call on the energies that we need to make us whole people in terms of using all of the zodiac signs, all of the planets, as much as we possibly can. On June 21st, I shall be speaking at Slippery Rock um, University uh, for a group of long-term care workers, and we'll be talking about care for the caretakers. And this is my way of letting you know that I am available for such public speaking engagements where I might use more of my transpersonal psychology and transpersonal coaching and also hypnotherapy ideas to help people to learn how to take better care of themselves. So that's what's on my agenda. What's on yours? You figure it out, and now you've read the stars. If you need to contact me for a private appointment or if you'd like a private video reading, you can do that quite easily. If you want to see the Deep Dives podcast, if you want to see this video again and again, you can always go to readthestars.com and contact me personally at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.